Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the relative maximum of this function using the TI-84 calculator. So to do that we'll start by pressing this button here that says y equals. That's where you enter the function into the calculator. Okay, so now you type in the function. So it's negative x squared plus x. So it's really important that you click the correct symbol for the negative sign. It's this one down here on the bottom, so I'm going to click it. Then you press X, it's up here. Then you need to press the exponent key, which is right here. And then two. Then you hit the right arrow key. You'll notice you're still in the exponent area, so you have to come down from that. So you have to hit the right arrow, and then plus, and then X. Let me do it one more time. So I'm going to hit clear, and do it one more time. So negative, that's down here x is going to be up here. The exponent key is here. It's called the caret key. And then the number 2. And then if you're stuck in the exponent area, you have to hit the right arrow key to come down. And then plus, and then x. Okay, so once it's typed in, always double check to make sure everything looks okay. So negative x squared plus x. Yeah, it looks good. So now we're going to hit graph. All right, so the relative maximum is right here. It's this, it's this high point. That's the relative maximum. It's the highest point relative to the other y values around it. So to find it, we're going to use the calc menu. So the calc menu is a blue key. So before you access a blue key, you have to hit second first. So we're going to press second, trace. And we're looking for the maximum. So we go down to maximum, and we hit enter one time. All right, let me just do that one more time. So you hit second, trace, go down, and hit maximum. Boom, there it is. Okay, it says left bound. What that means is that the calculator wants our cursor to be to the left of where the maximum is. So we're already in a good position. We're already to the left. You could move it over here, and we're still good. You can move it down here, and we are still good. So anywhere over here, we're to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit enter one time. Now it's asking for a right bound, so you have to use the right arrow key to travel and move your cursor to the right of where the maximum is. Okay, so now we're to the right of where the maximum is. So I'm going to hit enter one time. It's asking for a guess, so you can just hit enter. And there's the maximum, 0.25. Notice uh, all the decimals here next to the 4. That's just 5. Uh, so the ordered pair would be 5, 0.25, and the relative maximum is actually just the y value. It's 0.25. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.